Hi there, this is Byron again. We're going to solve that, that puzzle here. And we try not to be too greedy about it, because, you know, greed will be our downfall as it is written down here. But just in case we screw things up, we will save. So, let's see, uh, whenever you walk around here, there are uh, and hole will appear behind you. So we take that key and walk down that path. Now that is the question. See, that was a mistake. See, we got the boots, but we can't uh, walk into that direction anymore. So, good thing we saved. So. Okay, that teleporter actually leads us out of here. So we're going to take the key and we are going to ignore the boots. I don't know, take the ring. Two, does it do anything? I don't know. You could like use oh a plate mail, that's nice. Minus four. Even better than that, and a scroll of invisibility. We're going to scribe that. And now we will continue here. See there's another key. Now we are kind of screwed. So let's save again. Uh, load again. Maybe we should have uh, walked uh, that way here. Gotten that key first. And now uh, walked into that direction. Take the ring. Take that key as well. And now teleport out. Okay. Maybe we should save again. I think now we have it. And now we have two keys and we should just walk that way here. Ignore those boots like we did the last time. And you can we save here? Uh, can we pick the lock? No, rather not save here, just in case we screw things up. No, you can't pick it. Okay. Key. Plate mail. Scroll. Scrub it. And use that key here. And teleport out. And get poisoned, right? No. Okay, so we did the thing with the drain holes. Damn, we're good. Holy cow. Maybe, oh, see, that dagger is good. Well, excuse me, where are we? Okay. So there's. No. I stepped on that plate and all of a sudden a hole appeared. That's not good. Okay. What is that? Oh, okay, what do we have here? A potion of poison. Now that is useless, I say. Put it in here. See, there's a lot of food lying here. Doesn't matter. Push that button. 
that's it. That's not much. We get up a level. Okay. Portion of healing. Can we pick that lock? No, we can't. So use our key here. What do we get? A potion of healing. Flame arrow. Slow poison. Useless. Okay, let's scribe the flame arrow. No, scribe, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, Elven Girl gets a lot of nice spells here. Okay. Let's open that door as well. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. This is where the dwarves live. Could use a little healing here. I am Armun, spokesman of this clan. Of course, we have information on the location of the exits from these halls, but in our hour of need, I have no time to help you. However, if you would be willing to help us... Well, let's hear his proposal, I say. Amun begins. Our clan is descended from dwarves who build these great halls. Here our ancestors lived in peace until hordes of evil creatures drove them out into the realms of men and elves. On the surface our numbers dwindled. Finally our little king... What? Tyrgo Tyrgoth. Targoth, our king Targoth, gathered our people and led us underground in search of our ancestral home. Using secret knowledge passed down through the royal family, we finally discovered these stone carved halls. The halls were vast and uh, do we have time here? And we only explored a small portion before we had to make camp in an enclosed area decorated with a stone portal. But while the camp slept, the stone portals flared with magical light. From the light, a horde of drow charged us. They were led by a female they called Shindia. We rose and fought, fought the Dark Ones, though we were exhausted from long weeks of travel. Well, didn't they sleep for weeks or what? Both sides suffered many casualties, but in the end we forced them to retreat into the portal from which they came. The battle was costly. King Tergoth was wounded by a poisoned dagger and now lies in eternal sleep. Nothing our clan can do will wake him. His only son, Prince Kiergar, was captured by the invading drow. With no members of the royal family among us, we no longer have access to their secret knowledge of the exits from these halls. Now we wait while our cleric heals our surviving warriors. Once prepared, we will try to rescue our prince and avenge the fall of Tirgoth. Our numbers are small, but we would rather fight to our death than abandon our prince to the drow. Unless... If your party were to rescue Prince Kergar from the drow and return him to us, he could give you information about the exits from these halls. You would have your information, and we would have our prince. So will you help us? Yeah, we will help him. Darwin accepts your help with gratitude. He hands you a medallion made of stone. Take this. Shindia dropped it in the battle. It is the key to activate the portal through which she and her minions came. Our ancestors built these portals to transport them from one location to another quickly. When the portal doorway is touched with the right object, the portal is activated. We would have followed Shindia and their draw elves back through the portal, but we are not ready to confront them. The ancient ones also used powerful magic just as this to gain knowledge. Legend has it that there is an oracle of knowledge on, and the key to its operation is the powerful black orb. By placing an orb into the oracle, its power is released. Our cleric can heal your wounds. Be careful not to tax him too heavily. He has been healing the wounds of our warriors and trying to revive the king from his poisoned sleep. 
Armon stops you. One other thing. A young dwarf warrior would like to join you in your quest to find a prince. Will you allow him to join you? Well, okay, let's take a look at him, eh? Dorum joins the party. Okay, who the fuck is Dorum? He is Dorum. Okay. Uh, level 3 fighter. 5,000 experience points. We already have 21,000 experience points. So he is, uh, well, a weak ass fighter. Let's get his stuff and kick him out. Sorry, man, I don't need you. Okay, now we will continue in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.